Welcome to Basin Motorsports. In today's video, we're going to crunch some numbers and try to determine if investing in Hot Wheels or scale replicas is really worth the investment. Now, if you watch any of my content, a lot of times in the background, kind of on the upper shelves, you're going to see that I have scale models from different brands. They're going to be Jada, Hot Wheels, New Ray, etc. So over the course of the last 30 years, I've had a lot of scale models. Now, at certain points, I've been into motorcycles. I've been into cars, trucks, you name it. If it had wheels, I was probably into it somewhere along the way of 30 years being a motorsports enthusiast. Now, as a kid, I would typically get cars like this. I would take them out of the package and I would play with them in a big collection of Hot Wheels or Mattel or you know whatever it was. I would typically get out of the package and ruin the value of them. Now, later on into my late teens, into college and after college, a lot of times I would pick these up. They would try to be limited editions or stuff I was really into at the time. But the goal was to put them uh, in a, basically in boxes and sit on them for a long time to see if they were gonna actually be worth anything. So I went through my collection and I found 15 that I thought these might be worth some value as a relative or representative sample of all the stuff I have here. Now in my garage right now, I have hundreds of these in original packaging and I thought, did I actually make a good investment or did I just waste a bunch of money and just get uh, thrilled with the seeking of trying to find all the limited edition cars, trucks, and motorcycles. So I went through here in my collection and I picked out 15 I thought would be a good sample. Now what I've done is I knew exactly which ones I paid what for and now these some of these go back 20 years. So I know exactly what I paid for them and then I looked up on eBay as the worst case scenario of what would they be worth today. So I'm gonna go through and show you 15 that I picked out, tell you what they cost at the time I bought them, what the value is approximately on eBay today, and we'll look at a summarizing, is this actually a good investment strategy? All right, so no particular order, I'm just gonna go through and I actually have this one in my hand. Now this is a Hot Wheels brand D-Force Hot Import Nights, 350Z. It's got a wide body kit in that. Originally when I bought this about 15 years ago, it was worth $5. That's about what I paid for it. Looking on eBay, I actually couldn't find one of these. Uh, I found, I think maybe one or two, but it really wasn't a good sample size of it. But what I found is these are worth approximately $37 on eBay right now. Now this is one I bought literally in the last two weeks. It is a Coca-Cola version of a Mustang GT, the Fox Bodies, which is one of my favorite cars of all time. Now this was something I picked up at Walmart for $9. And on eBay, they're going approximately five to $15. So this one might be a money loser or at the right conditions might be a money maker. All right, so a couple more I have in my collection. My wife and I are big Supernatural fans. So I have one of the uh, 67 Impala that the Winchester drive called Baby. And I have one of Bobby Singer's Challenger. So on the Challenger itself, I paid $7. And I think this was from KB Toy Stores. Seven bucks. Right now they are worth approximately $8 to $22 on eBay. So this one might be a good buy. A good, uh, at least I didn't lose money. Now on the Impala himself, I paid $9. This, I bought it from an online retailer. I knew nine bucks was a little high, and all I could find is that it's worth about $6 on eBay. This one, the Hero Car itself, well, this one might be a bad investment. Another one of my collection is a green light edition. This is gonna be a Mustang GT from the San Francisco Police Department. This is part of the Hot Pursuit series. I paid approximately $5 for this. What I could find on eBay, was that they're going for between $10 and $24 on eBay. So you might double your money on these because the Fox right now is getting pretty hot on uh, popularity and these, these aren't made anymore, these Hot Pursuits. So these are actually probably worth, you might be able to double your money on any of these you buy. Another one of my collection is going to be a Badge City 350Z from Jada. Now I paid about $5 for this on eBay. They're worth approximately $6.50 to $10. Couldn't find a good sample of this, so this one's gonna be a harder to find. You might be able to get more money if you hold out for it, but you're at least not gonna lose money on this one. 
All right, so we're gonna jump into the Hot Wheels series for motorcycles. So this is what's called a super cycle. It is a base motorcycle, but it also comes with a wrench and some extra body work in that. This one here I paid $8 for, and I got it on closeout from KB Toy Stores when they were going out of business a while ago. The only thing I could find online is these are worth about 15 bucks. So not bad, about double your money on these, and they're a limited edition. They were from, uh, I don't even know what year it was, but it's a while ago. These are pretty good investment. Now, way back in 2003, Super Street Bike was an actual magazine. They put out a six series, or six motorcycles in a series collection of motorcycles with wheels and different fairings and that. Now, each one of these cost approximately $6 to buy. Now, this is back in 2003. From what I can find online, individually, each one of these is worth approximately $20 on eBay right now. Now, I actually have all six in the series, so that may increase the value. And the fact that Super Street Bike has gone out of business, out of print, and that might make these actually a little bit more valuable, especially as a set, than 20 bucks a piece. But go from $8 to 20 on each one, that's a pretty good value. All right, now we're gonna test your memory. Do you remember the big chopper craze in the early 2000s? I have five, five different ones from Orange County Choppers. You know, that TV series on Discovery, one of the ones that kind of got famous for a fighting family. Well, I've got five of these. I paid eight bucks for these way back, probably about 17 to 18 years ago when this channel uh, when Discovery had the American Chopper series or Orange County Choppers when they were really popular, I got five of these. Right now that $8 is worth approximately $10 to $30 on eBay. I don't know, these ones uh, probably were hot at the time, definitely sold at Walmart and different things, but right now, hmm, probably not a good value. These ones really haven't picked up much. Now coming out of the kind of the tail end of the Chopper craze, you started to see branches or branch offs into other motorcycles. Now, NASCAR worked with Hot Wheels on a set called the Thunder Series. Now these are drivers with their numbers and at the time their sponsor logos on different motorcycles. So I've got a lot of these. At the time I paid about $3 each individually on these and they're right now on eBay they're worth between $4 and $20 depending on what the driver was or what the sponsor was. Now. Go back a year prior to all the hubbub about NASCAR and everything going on with the pandemic here, these might have been more valuable. But these are from 2002. I've held on them for 18. They are legally able to go see an R-rated movie. And well, they're not really that much more valuable. These ones may or may not be hit or miss on a good value. Now in the early 2000s, I also road raced motorcycles. I had a couple of Suzuki's of that, that I was one of those guys that scraped knees and elbows. So I was really big into sport bikes. Now I picked a lot of different things up and these are a little bit bigger version of the sport bikes themselves, but I have a lot of different models. This one here is from New Ray. It's a Yamaha YZF R1. And this one at the time was about $9 that I paid for it. And right now on eBay, it's worth about 12 bucks. So sitting on this thing for probably 15 to 20 years is probably a bad value. It only picked up maybe 25% of value. Not bad, but at the same time, really not a great value or kind of a limited edition to really get into. Now this one is gonna be a little bit different. So this is a 1.6 scale Honda CBR 929 Arian Racing Edition. Now this is just after Curtis Roberts won the AMA Championship and I wanna say in Superbike or something like that. I can't remember, maybe it was extreme. But anyway, this one right here is really hard to find because I couldn't find any of these, especially this edition, out there on eBay. Now I do have three of these. Two of them I did pick up in Japan while I was there. So they are a global homologation edition. They're called a Fireblade over in Europe, but here they are a CBR in America. Now, not being able to find these exact editions out there on eBay to get a really good idea of how much they're worth, I can tell you when I bought these, these were in the early 2000s. I paid 20 bucks for them back then. Now, to find some similar ones in this size, they range from a price of $25 
up to a Honda edition. It was the Unlimited MotoGP Superbike that was $700 on eBay. So, could these be worth $700? I question that, I don't think so. But I think they're worth more than 25 bucks, especially when you have these kind of these uh, world editions or maybe these homologated editions from other countries. These things might be more valuable, especially knowing that I actually brought them from Japan to America. They're probably worth more than 25 bucks. I just couldn't find a good representation to say yes or no to that. Now going back into choppers, again in the early 2000s, Jesse James had West Coast Customs and you know he had his shop, uh, he had all of the Monster Garage going on, so his stock was pretty high at this point. I paid about $3 for these, each one, at Walmart at the time. Now currently on eBay I found them for $3 where it looks like somebody was just dumping them out, or I've also found them upwards of $20. So. These ones here, and I have a lot of these. I have most of the set, I think, of these little uh, rigid choppers and that that he put out, or they were put out at the time. Having most of these, they are probably, yeah, they probably have a lost value necessarily, but I wouldn't say holding them for 15 or 20 years probably has gotten a lot better. Thankfully, uh, West Coast Choppers is still around, even though it's down in Austin and he's gone into other things, but at least it's still holding value of what it is. All right, so the last ones I'm gonna share with you out of my collection are, well, I honestly thought they would be a little bit better than what they have been or what I could find online. And it has to do with Marvel. So I have a collection, the complete first series collection from Marvel. Now this is going back, you have Spider-Man, Thor, and all the stuff where they got into motorcycles, and I have a few from series two. Now again, these are from the early 2000s. This one in my hand is from 2004. At the time, I paid about $3 for each one of these individually. Right now, in 2020, what I can find on eBay, individually, they are worth between $8 and $20 a piece. That's a pretty good increase on an individual basis. Now I did find somebody that had a complete lot of eight that was series one they were selling off for 30 bucks on eBay. Now I think that's a little short, but it is what it is. Now after the huge success of Marvel, I would have thought these would have been a little bit better. But if you paid three bucks, they're each worth 20 now, and that's eight in a set. To say you paid less than 20 bucks and you're gonna get 10 times the value out of them, hey, you never know. That might be pretty, pretty much worth it, I'd say. So now looking at all those 15 that I just showed you and a lot of the ones around here, you're probably thinking, how much did you spend on those 15 and what are they worth today as a combined package? As some are not very valuable, some are pretty valuable. The 15 I just showed you, I paid $126 for 15 to 20 years ago. Now, if you add in an 8% sales tax, that means they would be probably paid for or the investment on them 15 to 20 years ago would have been about $136. Now going by eBay, which I think is probably where you're gonna find the minimum amount to pay for something, to in today's market in 2020, they're probably gonna be worth about $198. So that's a 48% increase in their value. So the question is, are they really worth collecting? I think it was gonna be debatable. There are definitely things that you cannot get a return on investment for 48% in 20 years. But there are other things that may do better for you on an individual basis. You also have to consider that you're gonna to have to store them and keep them in very good shape. Keeping something in a box for 20 years in storage or moving from house to house or anything else, there's always a risk to it. So you gotta decide, is that approximate? Could you make 50% more money in 20 years on this? And are you willing to set on boxes and boxes and boxes of children's toys to see if they're gonna go up in value. So hopefully that guys gives you a little bit of representation of what is available out there. If they're of good value, it's debatable. And if you'd think so, drop a comment down below. I'd love to see what you have in your collection and if you've done the same thing. Have you looked up what their value is over time and has it been a good value? Subscribe to the channel for more content, maybe on Hot Wheels or building wide bodies. Hit the like and share the video out to your friends that are fellow enthusiasts of the Hot Wheels and series collections.
We'll see you next time.